Hi, and welcome back to our lost estate. I'm out here on the patio today, and I've got another little DIY project. Today's project is actually related to one of the things we did in our winter garden video. In our winter garden video, we did a walk all around our garden looking for processionary caterpillars and Asian hornets. And today's task is focused on Asian hornets. So I'm going to be building a trap as a bit of a preventative measure to try to catch any hornets that might come near before they can form a nest. So Asian hornets arrived in France in about 2004 on a cargo ship from China, they think. And ever since then, they've been spreading across France and Europe and even seen in the UK. And I believe last year there was the first reported Asian hornets seen in America. So, why are Asian hornets such a problem? Simply put, they eat bees. Bees are vital to our ecosystem as a key pollinator for most of our crops and plants. So a lot of the fruit or vegetables that you find at the supermarket rely on bees. Um, and of course, then there's honey. I think Portugal recently, as a result of the Asian hornets, reported a 35% drop in their honey production. So yeah, Asian hornets definitely are a problem. Just three or four of the Asian hornets can wipe out an entire beehive. Thousands of beehives get wiped out across Europe every year because of the Asian hornet. So what we're gonna try and do is build a trap for them. There's professional beekeepers who have come up with this trap, which is a bit like a crab pot or a lobster pot, where you've got an entranceway that is fairly easy for them to get in, but then it's very difficult for them to get back out of the trap afterwards. Being designed by a beekeeper, it's actually designed so that it doesn't, um, doesn't capture things that it shouldn't. So bees are either too large to get in or too small so that they can get in easily, but they can also then get out very easily as well. So what we've done is we've bought these plastic formers from him. I'll put the links down in the description below where they just snap together to form this funnel. Now today's job is going to be mounting these funnels on this box here, which is going to form the trap itself. So these plastic inserts, which are the entrances and exits for the trap, were designed by a beekeeper. And they're designed to win within one one hundredth of a millimeter of the right size for an Asian hornet. So an Asian hornet will be able to come along the funnel and get through this little gap that will be put on the top and then be inside the trap and it will be very difficult for it to find 
this little hole again to get out. And all the rest of the holes you see in this are actually too small for an Asian hornet. But if a smaller insect gets attracted by the honey or whatever we're putting in it, then it will be able to get in. But also these slightly smaller holes will allow the smaller insects to get back out. So we're not trapping things that we shouldn't. We should only be capturing Asian hornets. So honeybees, for example, will be able to get back out, as will any little crawling insects that get back in. One of the important things of this trap is that the top of it is going to be opaque, so that no light will be coming through the top. So that means all the light will be coming from these entrances and exits, which will allow the insects to see that and follow the light to get back out. Here we have the finished trap. I'm in the field out the back of the barn, which is where we're going to be placing it. It's a bright sunny area, which is perfect for the hunting grounds for Asian hornets. So one of the best areas to possibly catch them. Also, we don't come through to the barn behind me every day. So if there is a nest, we might miss it for a while until it's grown to quite a large size. So much more important to have the trap up here than close to the house. For the trap, the one remaining thing we need to do is to bait it. Now for the bait, I've got some lovely honey, local honey. We've got some of our very own homemade peach jam. If you want to see some how to make that, you can check out some of our earlier videos. And I've got some freshly squeezed orange juice. At this time of year, the Asian Hornet queens are out and about looking for where to make their nests. And so they're really on a hunt for sugar, which is why right now the best baits are anything that's really sweet and sugary. Come June, July time, they will have made their nests and the workers will then be out and actually looking for protein. So things like fish based cat foods or um, even just some raw fish and meat are going to be better baits but those you'll need to change every two to three days, otherwise they will go bad. Um, but this should be fine for the next couple of months and should be great for actually luring them in. So we'll just lift off the top. The box at the bottom is the one for the bait. So in there, we can just place the orange juice, the honey, which is delicious, and the peach jam. That goes back on top, and there we have it. One Asian hornet trap, finished, ready, trying to uh, make sure we don't get any Asian hornet invaders here. I'll probably varnish it over the next few days, but it's important to get it out as early as we can 
to catch any of the queens as quickly as possible. So there we have it. There will be links in the description below if you're interested in uh, getting any of the parts yourself. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.